Shalom. Call hello la Yahweh by Shimia Washah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names, the only true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh by Shimia Washah. Also, Shalom to the Akim. That's pushing and spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name Jehovah by Shemel Shah. Shalom to you, Akim, you brothers. Also, Shalom to the Israelite forms, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations, just scattered amongst which the heathen nations, if you look on this chart, the nations start from two and on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your seed line goes back. To these tribes, as I'm about to pull on this chart, through the man, and if it's spared, bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird man when the child, if this does apply to you, are Israelites, though you may look like the, the heathen nations due to the scattering of these people right here on this chart. So you're going to have Israelites that look like heathens, but they're really Israelites due to the, because their spirit, bear witness with this word and this truth, mainly because their lineage goes back. Their bloodline goes back to these tribes through the man, if you can receive it. To the few Aquaf, you few Aquaf, you sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, if you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth with his words going out to, Shalom to you as well. And to you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. And uh, I got an article that I seen this morning, and it's once again surrounding the coronavirus. And they're basically, let me look for it. This is it right here. This is what they're saying. It says the CDC, which is the Center of Disease Control, okay, issues beard and mustache guide for coronavirus ep ep uh, epidemic, okay? Because as you heard, they locking down San Francisco, okay? They said there's been a community spread, okay? Meaning you have what they call a super spreader. You got one person that has it, and he uh that he or she passes passes it to you know a whole community or anybody's around them, okay? But this is what they they uh getting ready to issue, okay? And this they're trying to say that some facial hairstyles will interfere interfere with your face mask, which is bullshit, okay? So I'm going to read, um, excuse my language, but I'm just going to say how it is. But this is, uh, I'm going to read a portion of this article. It says, as face masks fly off the shelves, amid rising fears over the COVID-19 illness, which is the coronavirus. They just call it COVID-19. It says the Federal Center for uh, the CDC and Prevention and the National Institution for Occupation Safety and Health have just issued a guide about what types of beards and mustaches will make those masks less effective and which will be okay. Full beards are out as are any kinds of stubble. Bottom line, most beards and a few mustaches prevent the mask from making a complete seal against the skin. So two are those um, mutt, mutt mutant chops whiskers that were popular in the Victorian era along with the imperial mini beard, a kind of soul patch in the days of the Russian czars and the three musketeers style French fork beard. The long droopy Fu Manchu mustache is, is a no-no as well. The old-fashioned bushy walrus mustache, the pencil mustache immortalized by Jimmy Buffett and the dashing one worn by Zorro. And while the Fu Manchu is out, the CDC says you'll be fine if you turn, if you turn the long long ends upward. That will turn the beer into a Dali named after the surrealist painter uh, Salvador Dali and it won't interfere with a face mask. It says masks have been selling out since fears about the coronavirus beginning began spiraling over the weekend and they rank number one among the best selling household products on Amazon. Okay? Dr. Nancy uh, Messonnier Director of the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases at the CDC said Tuesday. And um, 
the center expects coronavirus to spread more widely in the U.S. and then that Americans should prepare themselves for a possible pandemic. It's already a pandemic, okay? All these countries that is in is already a pandemic, and we're not ignorant. Let me get a scripture because this is what they're saying is okay. They'll tell you, here it is. Esau will tell you that uh, that clean shaven one. That's the first, you know, that's the first one that's acceptable. But if you look, you know, I'm trying to zoom in on it. If you look, right, even you having like some sort of like peace first, if you seen the second one, it says stubble, that's all, that's not allowed, okay? But he wants you, it's okay to have that zapper right there. That's not even a full beard, okay? It's Esau, just, you know, let me get a scripture real quick. This is, uh, Second Corinthians 2 and 11, it says, Lest Satan, which is talking about the physical counterpart, is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Because what they're trying to do is they know, according to the law, when it comes to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it comes to our heritage, you know, let me get that scripture. We're required, you know, to uh, have a beard, man. Real quick. Let me look for that scripture. This is Leviticus 19 and 27. It says, Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Meaning what? You should not get a line up, man. Because in this society, what do you see all in these uh, these shopping centers? What do you see driving down the road? You see barbershops. Okay. And who's mostly in the barbershop? It's mostly Jake. You know, everybody got it. Everybody gets their hair cut, but it's mostly Jake. Jake want to look, you know, decent. And they think looking decent is getting the lineup. But according to the law, according to our laws, okay, we were not to uh, get lineups. I don't get lineups no more, okay? Neither shall I mar the corner of thy beard, man. That's meaning like line, the, line up your beard. So how much more cutting it off, man? Okay? And that's what these Edomites are trying to do. They're trying to uh, they're trying to make us the uh the part with it the real agenda behind it. Cause to an average person that's not spiritual, especially an average you know so called Negro, Latino, Native American in the society that's not in the truth, they'll look at this. They will look at this and they wouldn't you know have a problem with it because to to the majority of these jakes they don't realize that the bears that they grow on their face is actually part of our heritage. They think it's a fashion a fashion statement within. This uh this 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 system, okay, is a, a trend, okay. But a man of the Lord, you know, us that's in this truth, we know that's a part of our heritage that's required of us to have a beard, okay. That's and and you got people, you know, that uh they can't grow a beard, uh, Israelites that can't grow beards, or if they could grow some hair on their face, it, it don't grow, you know, completely out. As long as you have some sort of facial hair, that's okay, okay. But what these Edomites are doing is they're trying to uh they're trying to separate us from our power because one thing about the beard as well, it, it gives you what? It gives you a manly look. And that's what Esau don't want, especially on you uh you Israelites. You having beards, man, because it, it gives you that manly look. And it is also showing you that we are, you know, in some sort of connection with our power, you know? So he's trying to get us to go off, okay? And just do any anything to disconnect us from our power. And he's going to use, you know, this excuse. You know, that was the excuse he used, okay? And it's nothing new. I'm going to show you something. This is 1 Maccabees 1 and 1. Okay, this is going in times, you know, Alexander the Great. That okay, case going to the Greek Empire, right? And it happened that after Alexander, the son of Philip, the Macedonian, okay, so these were real people. Showing you the scriptures is a history book, you know? A prophecy, a book of prophecy, a book of history, okay? And future prophecy, you know? It says, who came out of the land of Chetham had smitten Darius, king of the Persians, and the Medes, that he reigned and instead the first of our, uh, first of, let me get the other one. I don't know why it's looking like that. Bear with me real quick. I'm 
I'm going to read it again. It says, and it happened. It's 1 Maccabees 1 and 1. It happened after that Alexander, the son of Philip, the Macedonian who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece, and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. And went through the, to the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations insomuch that the earth was quiet before him. Whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. And it's the same thing with the modern day Edomite right now. But continuing on, he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. Okay? And it's, it's never changed. That's tributaries then is what? Taxes now. Okay? You call them taxes now. Same thing. And after these things, he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Wherefore, he called his servants, such as were honorable and had been brought up with them from his youth, and parted his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. So Alexander reigned twelve years, and then he died, and then died. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, so did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth, because... The earth was given to the hand of wicked at that, that time and now, you know, these are the Edomites, man. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, a surname Epiphanes, son of Antiochus, the king who had been a hostage and hostage at Rome. And he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And those days went there out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us. For since we departed from them. We have had much sorrow. So these was wicked uh, Israelites, sellouts, okay? They wanted to uh, follow the ways of the heathen. And you have them same spirits that was doing this time of the Greeks, okay? They're back right now, okay? Everybody's back in their lot, okay? So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. And you see that with the two thirds right now. OK, they're, they're uh they've joined themselves to the heathens and they follow the heathen customs. You try to get a, 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 a Israelite that's up to two thirds, you know. To follow the law, statutes, and commandments. To put a beer on his face. To stop getting lineups. You see how they overreact. Stop eating pork. Okay? They back today. But I'm going to keep reading. Now, when the kingdom was established before Antiochus, he thought to reign over Egypt, that he might have the dominion of the two realms. Wherefore, he entered into Egypt with a great multitude with chariots and elephants and horsemen and a great navy and made war against Ptolemy, king of Egypt. But Ptolemy was afraid of him and fled, and many were wounded to death. Thus, they got the strong cities in the land of Egypt, and he took the spoils thereof. And after that, Antiochus had smitten Egypt. He returned again in the hundred and forty and third year, and went up against Israel and Jerusalem with a great multitude, and entered proudly in the sanctuary, and took away the golden altar, and the candlestick of light, and all the vessels thereof, and the table of the showbread, and the pouring vessels, vessels, and the vials, and the censers of gold, and the veil, and the crown, and the golden ornaments that were before the temple. All which he pulled off. He took also the silver and the gold and the precious vessels. Also he took the hidden treasure which he found. And when he had taken all away, he went into his own land, having made a great massacre and spoken very proudly. Therefore there was a great mourning in Israel in every place where they were. So I'm going to skip down to the point. You know. I don't want to, uh, you know, take up too much time because I'm going to schedule, you know, time. Um, I'm going to get to the point, right? This is the 40, uh, 41st verse. This is First Mac Maccabees 1 and 41. Here's the point right here. It says, oh, yeah, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And you see that right now. What do you see the elites doing? They're trying to start what? A new world order. Okay? Every A one world government. It's the same thing. Every time these Edomites come back into power, they do the same thing over and over again. Okay? And everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. 
Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Okay? So that's what they did. He uh made a decree that all, all nations they follow they departed from their laws and follow, okay, the ways of the land that they was pushing, man. Their philosophies. Okay? Same thing right now. You see how it's linking up, man. Showing you these the Edomites, okay? For the king has sent letters by messengers onto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they shall follow the strange laws of the land, and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrifice swine's flesh, which is pork, and unclean beasts, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation, to the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he shall die. He should die, okay? And I'm going to stop right there. But if you go further, you had women. They circumcised our women. You know, that's back when our women, they were uh actually women and they had integrity. They sacri they uh circumcised their, their newborn kids anyway, like the law told us to do. And what happened? They got put to death. They, they hung the infants, okay? That's what they did. And it's the same thing they're trying to do with this... uh. This uh, whole beard situation, you know, because right now they're saying that they, you know, they're pushing that vibration out there, but it could get to a point where you know they uh, you know they 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 up the consequences on it. You know, you might get you know put in uh prison. Yep, over a beard. This these are the Edomites. This is what they do. This is how they get down. You might get put in jail, or they could you know push it up. You know, they'll put you to death. You know. Because they're going to try to, uh, with the, the whole um, game plan is to try to separate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans from your power, man. Because they know us being connected to your Ba Shemal Shah is their downfall, it's their demise. So they're going to do whatever they could, you know, to uh to keep us away from your Ba Shemal Shah. And how they do that, they get us to go off, they get us to sin, okay? That's what they're going to do, man. Okay, this is why you know the times we coming in. You know, it's about to get real bad. You know, this coronavirus that that's uh that's gripping the the globe right now is really serious. Especially, it's gonna get serious here in America, right? This is uh Habakkuk two and three for the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry and you're seeing the prophecies, what, come to pass now. Okay, we at the, the the last little bit of prophecies, man. It's not tearing no more. Okay, we see it, and these these damn Edomites, these high-level Edomites, Trump, you know, he just made that uh that speech on the coronavirus last night. And a lot of them Edomites, even Trump, they all had that, that look of anger on their face. They're mad, man. Okay, they're upset, you know, they're upset of... You know, these prophecies come to pass because they know that these prophecies come to pass is what? Is their destruction, man. They know that, man. Okay? This is why I'm going to get this real quick. And that beard situation I just showed you, it, that's what they're going to do with that chip, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. They're going to try to force that on our people as well. You're going to have the elect because the Lord say he preserved 7,000 men. That they shall not bow down with seven. Th seven means complete, as I always say. Okay? We shall not bow down to the image of Baal, man. They're not going to bow down to Esau's system, man. So Esau knows he's going to have to put, you know, people to death. You know? Because you're even going to have Edomites. And you're going to have other heathens that's going to reject that chip. Okay? And that's you. And you not taking that chip. You're going to be considered to this man a terrorist. Having a beard on your face is going to be considered having, uh, being a terrorist. Let me get this real quick. This is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he had but a short time, man. They know their time is short, man. Especially now with uh, the Dow, the stock market went down 
that first time due to the coronavirus fears that's going on. Okay, and then the day after, okay, the, the the market it was still down. It went down more, and now I don't know what it is today, but possibly could have could have went down, man. So they're mad, man. They pissed off, man. And so what? Okay, you had your time to rule, you know. But they're gonna come down with great wrath, and they're gonna do whatever they could to you to you Israelites to keep us, you know, separated from your about Shema Shah. They're gonna basically make you denounce. The uh the name, man. Okay. This is why Habakkuk 2 and 4 it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not right in him. That's told my Esau. But the just shall live by his faith. This is why we gotta be, you know, prayed up. We gotta fast a lot. That goes for me as well, because I'm not exempt, you know. You gotta be in the scriptures, you know. Gotta be as spiritual as, as possible. Cause the times we coming into is gonna be, it's almost gonna look like there's no way out. You know, the all eyes are gonna be against you. Okay? Right? So let me get this real quick. This is, uh... Bear with me real quick. Right, I'm gonna start in here, you know. This uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus four and um, twenty five, it says, "And no why speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins, and force not the course of the river. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the persons of the mighty." And Esau is mighty in power right now. You don't have to be accepted by him. If he tells us to cut our beds, fuck him, man. We're going to keep our beds because the law says to do it, man. Okay? Our law says to do it. Okay? Strive for the truth on to death and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. Okay? So we got to, you know, hold on to this, okay, even on the death. Even if we got to get put to death, you know. And the Lord's going to fight for us, man. Because if this man puts you to death, okay, the Lord's going to raise you back up, man. You automatically got a crown. You automatically got your spot as the elect when that happens, man. So if we die or if we don't die, you know, whether we die or we don't die, you know, real quick. This is Philippians. Um, this is Philippians. I started, uh, what is this? Philippians 1 and 19 says, For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Yahweh, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that. With all boldness, all as always, so now as always, Yahweh Shah shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. You know, Romans 12 says to make thy thy body make your body a living sacrifice, man. Okay. It says, For to for to me to live is Yahweh Shah, and to die is gain, man. Okay. So even if we if you of the elect and you die, right? If you get beheaded or however it goes down, you know, uh you still win, okay? You still got the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be uh, uh, honored, okay, for dying for your house, you And you're going to be raised right back up, man, okay? Because not all brothers are going to taste the death, man. You're just going to have some martyrs, but not all of us are going to taste the death. This time, we're going to win. Because throughout the ancient times, these heathens, they were... These heathens and the wicked of our people, they was able to have their way with the prophets. They was able to put us to death, but this time the Lord's not is gonna lift up that standard, man. But if it is your lot to die, you know, this goes for me as well. 
you know, just take that death, man. And the Lord's going to fight for you. Okay? Just have faith in that. So, that's it. Yahweh Ratazah, this was edifying. Call her Lord, Lai Yahweh, Ba Shima Usha. Baba Gesha, a ba 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 a ba 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 a ba ha a yapia, a ba ha a yapia. Okay? And shalom to the elect.